Hi, I'm Amy, also known as Dickie Styles. And I am Tyler, known as Makeup Freak Tyler. And we are the owners of Demar Salon in La Jolla, California. And today we are doing a products that we love and hate of this month. We've been trying out a lot of products and some of them are good, some of them are not, so let's just get into it. Okay, so the first product that I want to talk about is uh, Redken Outshine 01. Purchased this product two times in one month and I've used it on myself and most of my clients I use this on. Um, it's an anti-frizz polishing milk and it says um, the control level is mild and it's to defy frizz and boost shine beautifully. It's a lightweight smoothing milk with shea butter and defies defines and defrizz as well adding polish shine. Um, I find the description to be really true. It's anti-frizz, it's not very heavy which is what I like about it um, and it does add a noticeable shine to the hair. So I like it. <laughs> I want to smell it. You want to smell it? I sprayed it. I put a lot. That smells good. Okay so my first product that I've been obsessing over and I've probably used like use a lot of that. Yeah, like eight <laughs> bottles. Um, it's the Next Day Hair by Techni Art by L'Oreal. It's a dry finishing spray and I use this before I curl someone's hair and then after I curl someone's hair and then I rake out the curls and um, gives volume, um, hold, style, texture. Obsessed with this product. Do you feel like it, um, like the next day like if you don't wash yeah. your hair every single day, do you feel like it's still touchable? Yeah, it gives you a nice product buildup so that it makes it look like a next day hair, um, but it's still touchable. Still and touchable. this one is $24. Yes, and this one, I forgot to mention, is between, depends where you buy it, between $16 and $20. Okay. So the next product we're going to talk about is Pravana Nevo Intense Just Therapy the Leave-In Treatment. Um, we're going to talk about it together because we both really, really like this product. And it sells out. Yeah, we have to constantly repurchase this product all the time because our mm. clients love it. And I originally bought this to use in my hair, didn't have time to use it in my hair, started using it on my client's hair, then fell in love with it, and the rest is history. We just buy it all the time now and our clients love it. Um, so what this does is it's a leave-in treatment and it does 12 different things in one. Um, it's like anti-frizz, anti-humidity, leave-in treatment, it's a conditioner. Shine. Shine. Um, it's a pH balancer, you can use it on your skin. Shine. Shine. <laughs> Again, another shine. A lot shine. of shine. <laughs> yeah, a lot of shine. Oh, it protects your color. So it just does a lot of wonderful things for your hair. Um, and it, and even if you use it alone, the hair, I've even used it on curly hair, will still lay down. It'll be really soft and smooth and shiny. Um, without you know weighing it down or anything like that. So the way we use this is uh, we towel dry the hair after we shampooed it, we spray it in, um, and then we brush it out into the hair because uh, it's a detangler and um, it really soaks into the hair. Then we put our other products on and then blow dry it into the hair. And sometimes we like to spray it in after it's blow dried uh, for haircuts or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the price point is twenty dollars, so we're yeah. twenty twenty one. We like this one. Yeah. Oh, and. I don't know if that helps, but you also like to use it before you color somebody's hair to yeah. protect it. Yeah, sometimes some people's hair is really porous, um, especially for blondes, so I like to spray it in and then glaze them or do low lights on them, and it keeps the ends from soaking up all the color and going dark on the ends, so that's a cool. So the next product that we both love and use on a daily basis is the Verb Ghost Hair Spray, and you can pick this up at Sephora, we sell it in our salon, we always sell a lot of these as well. It retails for $14. Mm -hmm. I like this because, um, again, like this one, it's a nice hold, it's not too stiff, it sprays perfectly, it's not like chunky hairspray um, where it just feels like you have a gunk in your hair. It's weightless, like it says, um, ghost hairspray. Um, that's why I like it, just weightless and it holds. Yeah, and I actually really, really find that it gives um, a texture to the hair, which it says it's a medium hold brushable texture which is really nice, like Tyler said, like the next day air. Um, I like it a lot for like finer textured hair because it'll give them kind of that grit that they need to hold a curl um, and to get a little bit vol um, like volume and body out of their hair. Yeah. So those are the all the products that we recommend and use like every day and we recommend for you guys to buy it. Now these are the products that we absolutely didn't like, um, that we just wouldn't repurchase it, it wasn't worth the money. The first one is, I can't even say this. Amika. Uh, Amika. The dry shampoo and packaging, love. Mm -hmm. um, it's just 
for a dry shampoo, it's too chalky. You can see white flakes in the hair. It doesn't come out very easily. Um, I wouldn't use this at all. Uh, just a waste. I think it's around $10, which is a good price point, but you're really, you know, wasting it there because you're not yeah. going to use it and it's just very chalky in the hair. So I don't like it. I'm going to throw this away. Mm -hmm. Um, the one that I have purchased and I had such high hopes from it because I love Kevin Murphy's Shimmer Shine is Redken Shine Flash. So what I believe about this one is this is step number two to step number one that I showed you guys earlier. And it says it's a glistening mist um, and it's supposed to add a high shine finish in a flash. Um, I love the way that it sprays out and I actually really like that it's in an aerosol spray but I don't really notice any difference on anybody's hair getting shinier. Um, maybe like a light shine on dark hair, which I feel like is really easy to make you look shiny, but definitely not on anybody with blonde hair. So I don't think that this is about $20. I don't think it's worth the price. And I think that there's a lot of other products that you can find that work a lot better than this one. Yeah. So that's a wrap. These are the salon tested products that we've been using every day on every single person, pretty much. And some of them we like, we don't like. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, let us know what you guys want to see in the next video. And we hope to see you in the next video. Bye.